Good morning, Margot, and everybody else who feels like a short break to open the shoulder to shoulder blades and all the muscles in that area. Um, we're going to start by finding our stillness, and for that, we focus on finding our sitting bones on the mat and closing our eyes. And we start focusing on our breath. And with every inhale we take, we feel like our spine is lengthening towards the ceiling. And when you exhale, you feel your shoulder blades sliding down slightly, as if you would be tucking your wings. Just keep focusing on the lengthening of the spine to lengthen the natural curve. The back of your neck is long, your chin is parallel with the ground, the muscles in your face are soft and relaxed. Take a few more deep breaths like that and focus on the stillness you create within your zone. We slowly blink open our eyes. We start with the next inhale, bringing our arms up and shoulders go down. Exhale, we twist towards our left. Inhale, come back to center, arms up, shoulders low. Exhale to the other side. And back to center. Exhale to the back, maybe you twist a little bit deeper this time, inhale back to center and exhale to the other side, inhale back and we exhale back to our left and we stay here for a few breaths focusing on the inhale while lengthening our spine and when you exhale you twist a little bit deeper, keep both shoulders away from your ears so you have space for your neck. Two more deep breaths here. And then we keep our right hand on our knee, but our left hand makes a big circle diagonally from the back towards the front, coming onto our other knee, and we bring our upper body in the center, swallow, uh, sucking in your uh, belly button, rounding your back. Inhaling, opening your chest slightly, and then follow the rhythm of your own breath. Exhaling, rounding your shoulders. Inhaling, opening your chest. Two more times like that. Really feel the space between your shoulder blades. And on the next inhale, we keep our arms crossed like that, but bring them parallel to the floor. Bend our arms and bring our palms of our hands on top of each other so we create an eagle arm. With our inhale, we bring our elbows high up and the hands are pushed away from your face. Keep your shoulders low while doing that and breathe in the space you create between your shoulder blades. Two more deep breaths here. Keep your shoulders low. Elbows high, hands are away from you. And then we let that go and we interlace our fingers behind our backs. Press your palms together, open your chest, bring your arms up away from you, shoulders are down, and you're, you push your um, fist away from the floor. And then we also release our hands here and we make a fist with our left hand and press it into our right, rounding our shoulders, pulling your shoulder blades away from each other. And then we change sides, so we press our right fist into our left hand. And then we also let that go. 
And we inhale again, bringing your arms up. Exhale, going to your right. And again, we stay here for a few breaths, coming a little bit deeper into the twist by inhaling to lengthen your spine. And exhaling, twisting a little bit deeper. At all times, keep your shoulders away from your ears so you have a loose and comfortable neck. Two more times here. And then we keep our left hand on our knee and our right arm makes a big circle from the back to the front, reaching far so you feel the stretch in your side body, grabbing your other knee and coming back to the center, exhaling, rounding your back. Inhaling, open your chest a little bit. Exhaling, suck in your belly button, round your back. And on the rhythm of your own breath, we flow through this movement two more times. And then we bring our arms parallel with the floor, keeping them crossed. We bend our elbows and we uh, place our hands in eagle arm position and then when our next inhale our elbows go up and we exhale the arms the hands come away from your face shoulders are down so you create some space between your shoulder blades and breathe into that space keep your neck soft your muscles in your face are soft take two more deep breaths here And then we release that again and we roll over our knees or over the side and we come into a tabletop position and from here first we're just gonna loosen our spine a little bit playfully so just place your um, wrists right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips and from here you just close your eyes and just gonna press your spine into your skin as if you explore all the movements your spine can do for the first time. Be like a little bit of a scientist, feel how you can squirm and jolt and coil your spine in all directions. Don't forget to breathe while you do that. Maybe push your bum back to your heels for a little bit or you come a little bit more to the front. Now we come to stillness and we bring our knees wide apart, toes are touching. Bring your bum towards your uh, heels and come um, maybe on your uh, lower arms first and then your left hand is going to slide underneath um, your right armpit. You're going to place the side of your head on the floor and let your weight come onto um, the ground and feel the stretch on around your left shoulder. Stay here for a few breaths. Now we open up our hips a little bit while we thread the needle as they say so you also stretch your shoulders softly. One more deep breath here. And then we slowly come back up and immediately go to the other side. So this time our right hand slides underneath. And our, the right side of our face comes on the mat. And just let your body weight come onto the floor. One more deep breath. And then we slowly come up and we prepare ourselves for the next pose, which is the puppy pose. So we bring our knees closer together again, hip width apart. And this time also our hips stay on top of our knees, but our arms will slowly come down to the floor. Maybe you're on your lower arms 
where you slide a little bit further and rest your forehead onto the mat and let your heart sink to the mat. If you feel like you can sink a little bit deeper, you can even bring your chin onto the mat and then you just breathe and with every exhale you feel your heart melting more towards the floor. One more deep breath here. And then we slowly walk our hands closer to our body again. And the next uh, exercise for that, we will come onto our belly. And with our left arm, we will straighten our left arm onto the floor to the side. And our right hand comes underneath our shoulder. And then we roll onto the side and our right foot can be placed behind us. If you don't feel that much of a stretch around your shoulder, which I would highly doubt, but you might have a very flexible um, shoulder, then you can uh, cactus your arm. So that means that your fingertips will go towards um, the top of your head. Take a few breaths here, I'm gonna straighten it again. One more deep breath. And we come back to center and we immediately take it to the other side. So this time our right hand will be stretched out to the side. Your left hand comes underneath your shoulder and you press yourself over the side, bringing your left foot on the back. Cactus arms would be like this. But I feel enough stretch with my arm like this. One more deep breath. And then we roll back to center. We push our bum to our heels and we come up to a standing. The next exercise we will use the wall and this can be something that you then do sometimes during the day when you feel you wanna stretch your shoulders a little bit. It's pretty simple, we just put our arm on the wall and we just bring our chest next to the wall and you can open the shoulder as much as it feels good to you. If you feel like you want to go a little bit deeper then also here you can cactus your arms so that means you bring your fingertips up. You can stretch a little bit like um, bounce a little bit back and forth. However feel com comfortable for you. I'm just going to stay here for one more breath. And then we also take that to the other side. So bring our arm parallel with the floor, open your chest. If you want, you can do the cactus arm again. And then we let that go. And to end this session, we will um, interlace our fingers behind our back again, bring our feet um, parallel uh, from the floor, press your palms together, open, bring your hands away from your bum, but remember to, to engage your pelvic floor, so to bring your um, pubic bone closer to your um, belly button, so you don't arch your back, but you tuck it together. And then with the next exhale, you'll bend forward and bring your arms over your head as far as you can. You can bend your knees a little bit so you don't strain your hamstrings too much in this position right now. Take a few breaths here. Let your head hang. And 
And then we let that go. And this was a short session to loosen the shoulders up a little bit and even a little bit around your neck as well. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, shoot. Ciao. Have a nice day.